Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching, what episode is this? Episode 14 of season two of Vinland Saga. Last episode we saw a slave had escaped from a nearby farm and it turns out that that was Arnid's husband. And we don't know how she feels about this yet. She could be excited. She could be overwhelmed. She could be feeling scared. Like there, there could be lots of stuff going on in her brain, depending on what has happened in the past, apart from them both going into slavery. But I am really excited to get into it anyway. It's really ramping up now in the second half of the season. And I'm, I mean, I just, I love this show so much anyway. It's so well written and so well done. So before we get into it, if you enjoy my content, please leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below as well. But without further ado, we'll get into episode 14. Arnaid. Arnaid, okay. I, I swear I've said it wrong every time. Rude. Okay. <laughs> How does she feel? How does she feel? She looks shocked to say the very least. Oh. Did she have a son? Oh my god, this music. No. <sighs> oh no. This is so unfair on her. <gasps> Was that the horse? Oh, poor horse. Oh my god. Oh no, he's gonna, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna all rage. They both think they're protecting her. <laughs> oh, snake. No. <laughs> no. That was the wrong answer. <laughs> I hope she isn't punished for this. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I love him. He just wants what is best for her, even if it hurts him. So true, Thorfinn. Oh. Oh, he's going to be so scary. Oh, my God. <gasps> he's strong and quick. <laughs> Oh, Snake, please don't get hurt. <sighs> mm -mm. <laughs> He's like, wow, my retainers are shit. Oh. Oh, my God. The thing is, it's like, he's done nothing wrong, like the slave, like, his crime is being a slave that's escaped. Oh. And now he's going to be punished even more for escaping. In an already like harsh owner, like 
household. Because your men are shit. Oh my god. You can't just say that. Oh. Oh my god, I feel so sorry for all of them. Like, especially Arnaid and her husband. Oh my god. Oh, he's so anxious. He wants to do something. Mm. What did he do? Aww. Lend me your strength. Because of pots. Oh my god, we get to find out some of her past. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, she looks so different. For money? Oh. To protect their future, okay. Oh. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god, it's no, they were completely defenseless. Oh my god. What are the chances of them being just like a couple of farms over from each other after all of that? Oh, Thorfinn. Yeah, I thought so. It looked like fear. Mm. What? Her child? Fuck um, off. Oh my god. This is so fucked. Oh, of course he's awake. <laughs> What's your story? Oh, wow. Okay. What? 
What? But they have so much wealth and power now. I never expected that. <sighs> oh! Was that Katil? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Will you? I hope you are. Oh my god, this scene is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, that wasn't... that wasn't half an hour. First of all, hearing about Gara and Arnaid's backstory is so fucking sad because it was just like, it was just such a simple, in the scheme of things, like a small decision that seemed to be the right one at the time that the men made. And then because the men were gone, the children, the women and the elderly were raided, killed and taken away by the same type of people that Thorfinn was a part of in season one. I feel like that would have really hit hard for Thorfinn in particular. And I know he's already kind of come, not come to terms with his past altogether, but he, he does regret it still. That would have really, really hit him hard anyway, because it's just another bunch of human life that was taken in the name of pillaging a village when you see it like that like it seems so senseless and i just the contrast between like this season and last season and how it's almost like this season is a direct critique of season one if that makes sense or the the people in season one and i just i love that so much i think it's really interesting storytelling because it's not like in season one it's like you knew that what they were doing was wrong and like really shitty, but you grew to know the characters and you grew to really like the characters. But like <laughs> seeing that like kind of direct critique that what they did was fucked up in so many ways because of the characters that we're learning about now in this season is just really interesting. Oh my God, I feel so bad for Einar as well. He, uh, like, he is so mature. <laughs> he's clearly in love with her. I think he's clearly in love with her. And he's still, instead of going into, like, a fit of rage or jealousy, he just wants her to be free. <laughs> and I can't, I can't deal with that. But then on the other side, you've got Thorfinn telling him, no, you can't just kill somebody because it's not that easy emotionally for you. And you can't just run around killing everybody. <laughs> that sort of interaction between the two characters was really interesting as well. The music in this episode in particular as well was just fantastic. It was so beautiful and so well done. It just like sucked me right in. I think at like one point I was like leaning like closer towards the camera. So sorry for that. But I was just like so enthralled and like so into what was happening. And I think the music played a big part of that as well. The animation is gorgeous as always. And I just, I really can't wait until next week for another episode again, because I feel like we're going to see more of Gada and what his response is. I really, really don't want Arnaid or Gada to be punished for this. They will, of course, because they are slaves and they're not seen as human, but, <laughs> oh my God. And also, oh my God, uh, Arnaid being pregnant. I mean, it's not a surprise because we knew that she was a sex slave for Katil anyway. She seems somewhat excited to have a child again or like happy to be having a child again but it's so fucked up because the master-slave relationship oh it just 
it grosses me out <laughs> real bad. I said this like a few episodes ago, but it is, I do not enjoy it at all. The characters in this anime are all so multifaceted. It is so well written. I can't wait to see what happens next episode. My mind is all over the place, so I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm really sorry. But if you have any thoughts, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to have a chat. Please, there's always no spoilers. I'll also leave all of my socials down below as well. So I have a Twitter, Instagram, a booktube channel, if that's your sort of thing. And also I stream on Twitch as well. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day or night wherever you are and I'll see you all next time. Bye.